Brown Foreman has always been an interesting company and in that they have many brands. They have Old Forester and Woodford Reserve and Jack Daniels. Uh, but what's interesting is that Old Forester has kind of a... Uh, uh, a slim pickings as far as the limited edition releases go. Uh, each year they have some gift shop only bottlings. They have, of course, the birthday uh, birthday bourbon, and every now and then they release the King of Kentucky once a year. Uh, this week we have a special box here. Uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. Hey guys, Jay here from WhiskeyRaiders.com. Thanks for joining me back on the channel. Today we are talking about none other than King of Kentucky. Uh, this year's release is about 4,000 bottles. I want to say it's about 3,800. It is 16 years through and through. It's all distilled on the same day, July 19th, 2007. This is a spicy boy. It's retailing for $300 if you can find it. And I know many people are more than happy to pay $300. Let's go ahead and see how it is. So they went ahead, they sent this cool wooden box. I, uh, I always think it's fun when brands do something beyond just a sample in an envelope. Uh, this is, if you couldn't guess, the King of Kentucky. So inside we have a sample. This is of course a first take video. Uh, so you can see that this guy is still sealed. I haven't tasted it yet. I'm really looking forward to. Uh, this is the first year uh, we're tasting King of Kentucky before it's released. I stopped by Evergreen in Louisville, Kentucky a couple months ago and tried uh, one of the previous releases. I think it was like an 18 bottle short barrel or 10 bottle short barrel. Just absolutely bonkers stuff. But uh, I'm pumped to get into this. King of Kentucky is distilled by Brown Foreman. Uh, it's distilled by uh, Old Forester, if I'm not mistaken. This year's release is 62.9 uh, percent ABV and it's all 16 years old. Got a Glen Cairn. Let's see. And this I don't know if it's gonna be tricky or not, but we'll figure it out. The it seems like the hardest part is opening these samples sometimes, but I think we can just take the top right off. There we go. Cool. Let's go ahead. I kind of butchered that, but whatever. All right, so this year's King of Kentucky, the uh, MSRP is $300. That's a little bit of a tough ask sometimes because these go crazy. Uh, bottles of the short barrel from last year's release, I believe was going for north of $10,000 on secondary, uh, which is just, just bonkers to me. But this has really beautiful color, really, really powerful nose. I could smell it even just pouring it. Like there's a lot going on. This guy is huge. It's full of, uh, it's got a big maple. It's got a big Luxardo cherry note. There's a lot of spice. It's all like pepper and clove. I'd, so I'd call it like heavy baking spice. This really kind of smells like a bakery just popping out of the glass. There is a lot of cherry. There's a, there's not a lot of that typical old forester, like kind of banana bread note. I get maybe a little bit more walnut than anything, but on the nose, you wouldn't know that this is north of 60% ABV. Really easy on the nose. On the palate, there is a lot of fruit. There's a lot of cherry. That banana is kind of coming through. There's kind of a, I want to call it like a Ludens cherry note along with like a Luxardo cherry. It's like syrupy and then it's natural. It's like got a pop of those like bright red maraschino cherries and then it goes right into those dark syrupy Luxardo cherries. What is really impressing me here is the amount of brown sugar. This thing is absolutely just full of brown sugar. It's full of toffee. There's almost like a peanut brittle. There's like a caramelized, like a sugar note, like from the top of creme brulee. And then there's a big scoop, kind of just like a big dash of vanilla, kind of buttercream in the background. Like it's very well-rounded. It's all dessert notes, uh, balanced with baking spice. I'm not getting a lot of oak, which surprises me. The oak here is really well integrated. It's certainly not excessive. There isn't a lot of it. It's not dry in my palate. Like it's very, it's kind of lively, which is a very nebulous descriptor. And I apologize, but like, it doesn't sit heavy. It's not like dry. It doesn't suck the moisture out. Uh, it's just, it kind of bounces around. There's a lot of flavors. <laughs> the palette's interesting too. It's definitely a lot drier. Like here is where the oak is really demonstrating itself. It's popping through. It's showing lots of, of like wood, wood and tannin and like a, like a sweetness kind of like sap or like some of those, if you've ever been to like Vermont, there's like grades of maple syrup. And this is definitely on like the thicker, the richer, the more savory, the more spice driven maple instead of like just being kind of pure sugar driven. I really like the finish. It holds on just long enough. It doesn't hold on uh, for a long time. You certainly don't get any bitterness on the palate. It just kind of moves right on through. It's really pleasant. I like the progression of like a big sweet fruity nose into a more balanced savory and sweet and fruity palate going into the drier uh, finish. It makes it really easy to drink. It's really easy to enjoy. This guy, I have to say, uh, not my favorite King of Kentucky. I did really like that short barrel. I'll find a picture. It's on my camera roll and I'll pop it up here. That guy was stellar, but as far as King of Kentucky goes, like this is this is really good stuff. And this is 
certainly probably the best Old Forester uh, distillate I've had in a long time. This is really pretty good. I like this a lot. This was a first take tasting, guys, of the 2023 King of Kentucky. Uh, you can find the full write-up on whiskeyraiders.com this morning. You can find other videos on YouTube here on our channel. Uh, I might go ahead. I have a couple samples of older releases. Maybe we'll compare this to the older guys. We'll see what's up. Uh, but overall, really cool first take. This is a just kind of another look at the label. This is obviously a media sample, so thank you to Old Forester for sending it. Uh, no money changed hands. They don't get to see this video before it goes live, but they did send that sample all the way on through in the mail. So uh, you guys can get the full review on Whiskey Raiders soon. And in the meantime, my name is Jay, better known as Take for WhiskeyRaiders.com, and I will catch you here on another video here at the channel. Thanks, guys.